Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to bring you something a little different. So I've recently just started making resin masks and this is the first one that I've completed. So I'm going to take you through that process of doing that. So I'm going to start by trimming the rough edges off the corner of the mask and I'm just using a sharp Stanley knife to get it off and I'll just run it under the Dremel to finish it off and make it nice and smooth. So this is the first mask that I've sculpted, moulded and cast and it was a big learning process for me but it was something that I really wanted to do um, and I learnt a lot from doing this. So sculpting alone took me around 10 hours to do and then moulding took me another four to five hours and then casting takes a couple of hours to do because you have to do something that's called a slush cast and what that basically means is you got to build up resin layers so you have to wait for the layers to cure so each time you basically just roll the resin around in the mask until it starts to catalyze and then wait until it's fully done before moving on to the next layer I do have these wolf masks in my Estee shop. They're made to order, so it takes about a week to make, and then I'll send it off to you. Um, you can find my Etsy shop in the description. I get this question in every single video, but all you have to do is just look at the description and you can find it. After the tedious trimming and dremeling, we can move on to the painting. And I'm just putting down some white acrylic paint that gives it a bit of a tooth so the paint has something to stick to. So I'm going for a black wolf this time and I'm going in with my handy dandy black chroma curl acrylic paint that I use in my art dolls. And I'm just going to be painting the whole mask black to start off with. So this is a bit of a tedious process and repetitive as well. So I'm just going to cut a lot of it out because I think you get the idea of painting a base black coat. But first off, I'm going to do some tests with some purple paint because um, I wanted it to have a purple sheen over the top of the black. It's this wolf mask is based off one of my doll characters, um, which was a purple wolf, and I wanted it to have a bit more of a darker take on it. So I'm just testing out some different purple colours to see which one I liked over the black, and I think I'm going to go with the pastel purple. Anyway, back onto painting the black, and I'll just let this run through for a little while before I come back. So you probably noticed that I left a couple of things white and that's because I didn't want the black to show through anything that I was going to stick on. Um, mainly the pink in the ears and I'm going to have white underneath the jawline and as well as the eyes I'm going to paint. So now I'm just going to go in and paint around the eyes with a smaller brush 
and so I can get into all the little um, nooks and crannies. So here's a little look at the black base coat down. So I'm going to wait for this to dry before I come back and paint anything over the top. It kind of makes me want to make a black wolf mask next with some nice amber coloured eyes. Mm. So I've decided to paint the eyes a pupilless green and I'm using that same Lumiere by Jacquard with a weird name Halo Blue Gold when it's actually green. Weird. So I'm just going in with a fine brush and just using one layer of it because it's a really good paint so I won't need to go over it again. Now I've made up some pastel purple paint and I'm just going over the top of the black with a dry brush and I wanted a stronger layer because I wanted the purple to sort of show through with the muslin that I'm going to put over the top of it. Again, I think you get the idea of just running a dry brush over the mask, so I'll just let this run through and then come back again. sketch out uh, little white markings that I put on my doll so I don't know if I'm going to continue with this or not um, but I just wanted to see how it looked and I'm using the white chroma acryl acrylic paints that I have in black
So I'm just painting the inside of the ears a pink colour so it shows through any fur that I'm going to put on and I'm using a Derivian Matisse paint and it's another good quality cheap paint. Now I wanted to add some texture to this mask and I really like the look of muslin when it's been painted and glued over. So muslin's generally used for um, wrapping food in kitchen or straining things. So um, you can generally find it in um, any fabric store or cooking store possibly. So I've just mixed up the concoction of Mod Podge, black paint and water to make it a sort of watery paste type thing to stick the muslin down. As well as painting the actual muslin in first place. So I ended up covering the whole mask in this muslin so um, I'll let this run through and you can skip or watch it, whatever you like. So I'm just going to dab the muslin with some um, tissue paper just so it, it takes some of that colour away and brings the purple through again. So all the muslin has been applied and I'm just going over the material with some of that um, pastel purple paint again just to bring it out a little more. So I don't know where the footage from the fur went, I guess it went missing. But anyway, I um, applied some fur to the edges of the mask as I wanted it to, to give it a little more of a realistic appearance. And I'm just blending that fur in with some watered down black paint, uh, just so it's not so, such a stark edge.
I decided this mask needed some kind of marking so I'm going to go in with my white chroma cruel acrylic paint the same paint that I use for anything on my art dolls so I'm just using a smallish flat brush to paint these markings on and I still wanted it to have some kind of rustic feel to it so I didn't put too much paint on the brush so effectively I was using a dry brush So the difficult thing is making these lines actually symmetrical, so a good thing to do is to flip your work upside down and that gives you a different perspective on how things look. And here's the final product. This mask is actually available in my Etsy shop, so again, jump into the description and you can find my Etsy link in there. Alright guys, that's it for me today. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, if you have any ideas for any tutorials you want me to make, or any dolls, masks, just leave it in the comments down below and I'll check it out. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!